yeah, in the previous lecture uh, I discussed about uh, uh, state table, uh, sorry, implication table, implication chart, and in that uh, we discussed this first uh, pass. Now we need to check for the second pass. Okay, so we drawn like this. Now we need to check for the second pass. In second pass, what you have to do, what you have to do is uh, first check for AC column, AC, AC, this block. There we have AF entry. Then check for AF entry. AF is crossed. AF it is crossed. So we can put a cross mark. Why? Why? Because uh, AF is actually not equal. So in this entry, AF also not equal. So we can um, bro uh, cross them, cross this column because it is not equal. In first pass, these are equal. We check, but considering the state outputs are equal but considering the state we it is written like that the states are not equal so we AF column it is already crossed so this entry what wherever this AF entry comes this, we can cross the cross that okay for this particular now check for uh, next is AD AD check for BF Rit uh, what it is written BF B and F there is entry so no need to cross it is already taken so BF there is no cross so it is taken next is EF AE column that is AB and BG what about AB AB is crossed so AB is crossed so here AB is crossed so we can put a cross mark here we can put a cross mark here AB is crossed okay now what about the BF now it is AG column that is BF BF no problem it is there we have entered no cross mark so it is taken now what about a BF column it is DG check for DG D and G there is no this is D this is G D G column there is no cross mark so this we are taken now consider this column D uh, C D C D column means this column C D cross means this column here the, there we have D F what about D F D F it is crossed see D and F it is crossed so we need to cross this now second column CE column CE cross means this column BF and EG what about BF BF no problem what about EG E and G there is no cross mark and B and F column there is no cross mark so this we can take this is already crossed what about CG column what about this CG in CG column A comma F what about A comma F it is crossed so we need to cross this also so now consider uh, D E call this column D E this column so there we have BD entry what to put BD B D this column it is crossed so we need to cross this this is already crossed what to put DG column it is AD check AD A and D there is no cross mark so we can take this now check for uh, EG <coughs> Now check for EG. In EG we have AB entry. AB. AB entry is crossed. So we need to cross this. This is crossed. So this is the second pass. We call it a second pass. Now uh, we need to check for the third pass. Okay. Now we need to check for the third pass. <coughs> How to check the third pass? because we need the minimum set of states so what are the states we can eliminate the same states and same output we should eliminate all those combinations <coughs> now again check for uh, now again check for now again check for non-crossed states <coughs> okay now again check for non-crossed states uh, what are the states consider this this three this for it is crossed this column a g it is bf check bf 
bf it is not crossed so no problem we can take next this this column all these things are crossed this is not cro not crossed column so check that it is bf in that dg check dg d dg it is not crossed so we can take this now consider here we have this column it is not crossed check that ce column where here we have bf bf check bf b and f it is not crossed now check eg 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 see in eg second pass we crossed here okay in second pass we crossed the eg column in first pass there is no cross but in second pass we crossed this eg so in this eg pair we check eg pair there it is crossed so in third pass whatever the columns in second path crossed that is also considered so in third pass eg when we check this column is crossed in second pass so we need to cross this in third pass okay so this is crossed here two crossed here or here we don't have any cross so dg column check ad check ad a d not crossed so we can take this here it is crossed here it is crossed so this is about third pass this so this process should continue unless and until all number of minimal st all states are reduced to minimal states okay so further any let's check for further there won't be any repetition or there won't be any cross marks uh, so the process we can end again check means check for the fourth pass ad it is bf check for bf uh, bf no problem again it is ag bf check for bf no problem for bf it is dg check for dg dg no problem here it is in dg ad check for ad ad no problem no cross so it is taken so final reduction is not possible in this okay so this this is the uh, uh, minimum uh, state table reduction uh, implication chart process for the state table reduction now from this implication chart we need to get some ideas what are they look at the states here ad ad what it is bf okay ag what it is bf okay so a and d are equal because bf a and g are equal because bf so we can write it as uh, a equal to d now a equal to g whatever the column remaining we can put it as equal sign okay now another another non crossed column it is you check for non crossed column and those columns are equal rows and columns let us indicate so here dg non crossed column it is dg what are they b and f so we can write b equal to f now here no cross column here one cross a non crossed column so it is ad so dg is equal we can put it as d equal to we can put this d equal to g so this is considered so all the combination considered now look at here a equal to d a equal to g d equal to g so in, in another way we can return like this a equal to d which is equal to g why because all these things are interlinked a equal to d d equal to g and g equal to a so we can write as a equal to d equal to g comma b equal comma b equal to f and what about another tense here the states are here the states are a b c d e f g in that we completed a d g in that we completed a d g and b f so a completed d completed e completed g completed b completed f completed remaining is uh, c and e okay here a d g and b f completed a d a d g and b f completed so all this is not here so the remaining is uh, c and e so we can write like this c comma e so we put these things are in a set okay so these are the different state that means this a d g we can reduce it to a single state b and f reduce it to single state c is single state so uh, initially it was uh, 
one two three four five six seven states but after reducing we have this is one state this is two three four so seven state is reduced to four state now we need to we need to write this okay we need to write this in minimum state table next is minimum minimal state table how to write minimum state table assign the terms we know that set a equal to d equal to g we assign this as i am writing another letter alpha you can put any letter a small letter i like that you can put okay now set b equal to f i put it as beta okay another set b another set is c for c i am putting it as uh, gamma and for set e i am putting it as delta for reduced state table i am writing in another way okay I am writing it in another way. So look at here how to write. This is my present state. Now next state. Okay. And output for input x and output for input x this i need to complete so this is the column so here i have k equal to t equal to j that i put it as alpha okay then b equal to f that I put it as beta. Now C set to the I put it as gamma set set E. I put it as delta. Okay. So now check A D G I put it as alpha. What about for zero input and what about for one input? What about the output for zero and one combination that we are writing? Zero and one combination. For alpha zero, that means A D G A for zero input. Look at here. For A zero input it is A only and output is zero. So A means alpha, zero input means alpha only and output output is zero from this table you have to write okay uh, and for state a one input output is b for state a that means alpha output is one is your input is one the next set is in b what is b here b here it is beta so you can write it as beta and what is the output here the state is output is zero for one input output is zero so you can write it as zero okay now this is actually alpha okay alpha. now for state to b for zero it is d for one it is c that means for state to b zero it is d state to b that is beta for zero it is d what is d d it is alpha okay so we can write it as alpha and for one alpha for one for one it is c for one it is c see what is c so for one it is c here beta one it is c c means gamma so we can put gamma here okay so what are the outputs remaining outputs output it is zero one so output is nothing is same as that of itself that is 0 and 1 now what about is c c means gamma for the state c for the state is 0 input to f 1 input to e for 0 input it is f f means beta f means what beta 
for one input it is uh, for one input so for state z one input it is e e means what delta okay so we can put it as e means what e e means delta so we can put it as delta here and output is output is uh, what are the output for state c output for state c is 0 0 only so we can write it as 0 0 now for state e delta state e means delta what is 0 and in one input what are the state changes for state e 0 input it is b 1 input is g b means beta g means alpha so we can write it as beta so we can write it as beta comma alpha and the outputs are 0 0 so listen here initially it was 7 state that then now uh, in minimum state table that 7 state is reduced into 4 states only why because adgs are equal so we put it as alpha bf are equal beta c we put as gamma e. you can put any other letter it is the initial state you can instead of alpha beta gamma delta you can put it as a small letter a b c d but here you have to define the state if it is you are putting a small letter a then you can put a small letter a b c d or you can put a p q r s whatever the notation you want you can put but the, here you should indicate that and that is written here also so this is the minimum state initially it was seven state now it is reduced to only four states so reducing the seven state to four states means that means states we are reducing that means uh, transition we are reducing so the circuitry become uh, what compact so it will be more easy always we all need a less circuitry while designing we need to reduce the cost we need less circuitry so we can follow this minimum state table